Welcome everybody. This is just a quick little video to cover a scenario that a couple of people have asked me about. And I just thought it'd be easier for me to record a video than it would be to write uh, a blog post about it. The scenario is we have a copy of a save file that was made on a different IBM I partition and copied up to my PC. And what we want to do is we want to uh, upload that uh, save file to pub400.com. And then we want to go ahead and restore the objects from that save file to a library, one of my libraries on uh, pub400.com. So here is the same file that I created on a different uh, IBM I partition. Should come to you as no surprise, I give it a, a highly imaginative name of my savfa dot savf. Uh, in my opinion, you should always make your save files have easy to remember and simple names. Don't make them too complicated. You're going to have to key this stuff in. Um, as I said, you don't want to make it complicated because then you're going to forget. The other thing too is I always put uh, my save files, as you see in a folder, something like C colon uh, FTP, a, a folder that's uh, pretty close to the root of the C drive. Why? Yet again, why have a complicated path? I'm going to have to remember, and I guarantee I'll probably type it in at least wrong once. Keep it simple, K-I-S-S, -S, as I tell you guys, and you'll have the success. So what are we going to do here? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign on to Pub 400. Let's do close all messages. So here we go. So now we're on the on Pub 400. Let's go ahead and look for all the libraries that are mine. And all my libraries are called RPG PGM something. And I can use the work lib PDM command to see them. And if we see, I have three libraries on Pub 400, what I call the one library, the two library, and the B library. I'm sure if you look at your own uh, accounts, you'll see that whatever you're, you have, a one library, a two library, and a B library, it's normally your user profile with the, with the character at the end. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work with the B library. I have no objects in it. And before we start copying save files and so on, I actually want to go ahead and create a save file. So I use the CRT SAVF command to do that. I could call my save file anything, but I'm just going to call it, keep it simple. And I'm going to call it the same name as the, uh, the save file on my uh, PC disk. And we're going to create it in RPG PGM B, the B library. So let's go ahead and press enter. And then I can press F5 to refresh, and there it is. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the PC folder. Let's say we're gonna copy this to this. I wish it was as simple as drag and drop, but it's not. I'm using Windows 11, and I'm sure you guys with Windows 10 will see the same thing. But what we're going to do here is we, we're gonna use FTP to do the transfer. So to get into FTP on my Windows PC, I right click on the Windows button, I do Command, I get the run, I type in command, press enter, then I do FTP hub 400.com. Okay, press enter. It'll prompt me for my username, which is RPG PGM. It'll prompt me for my password, which I'm not going to tell you. And now we're logged on. Okay, once we're logged in, we're logged into the root. Um, on or the default folder, in other words, library on Pub 400 and also on my computer, which is not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the local directory. To do that, we use the FTP command LCD. And as I said, as my save file is in the folder C colon backslash FTP, we're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and change the directory for my library. Okay, on pub 400, you have to use, I'm doing air quotes here, the um, the QSYS library naming convention, which means we need to type in forward slash QSYS.lib, which is equivalent to a root. Then we need to type in a slash and then the name of my library that I wanted to go in. 
which I can't spell today. So we go ahead and we have RPG PGM B, because I said we're going to put it in the B library, or you would put it in your own B library, and dot lib. Okay, because the file structure is qsys, dot lib is the equivalent of the root folder in the qsys uh, dot lib naming convention, and the subfolder under that, of course, is RPG PGM B. Okay, now we have this, we have our folder set. Let's go ahead and let's try and put a save file into the save file we created on pub 400, the empty save file. Okay, press enter up. I knew this would happen, but I just wanted to show you. But when we just go ahead and we try it first, it'll come up and tell us we have a, we need to use a binary image transfer. If you don't set a binary image, it will do a text transfer in FTP. Great for just pure characters, but if you've got other types of things, you need to do a binary transfer. So how do you go from text mode to binary mode? You could type in the whole word binary, but we're just going to type in bin. And now that's changed, right? So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the put my save file dot savfa. Okay, it's now doing the transfer. This is the things you need to look for when you're doing a transfer is the 150 which tells you the name of the save file is copying in the library. And then you want to see if you got a 226. If you got a 226, we know that our transfer was successful. So let's go over here. And how do we know that we got data in the save file? Well, we can use the display save file command, DSP savfa, and we're going to prompt that. And in there, we're going to put my save file. Uh, we're going to say it's, well, we know it's in my B library. And of course, you put it in your B library too. There we go. Hooray! All the objects are there. So now that was step one. We've transferred the save file from my PC onto Pub 400. The second step we wanted to do, of course, was to restore the objects in the save file. If we were on any other partition, we would use the IBM command restore object, RSTOBJ. Here, if we use it, we get an error message. Not authorized to command RSTOBJ. Okay. Uh, of pub 400, that's blocked. We actually have to use a different command. And that command is called RESTOBJ. Rest, not rust, rest, R-E-S-T-O-B-J, okay? But before we do that, well, let's just go, let's prompt that. We prompt it, we need three pieces of information. The first one, what is, what is the library that the objects uh, were saved from into the save file on the other system? Then we need to know what is the name of the save file and what is the name of the library the save file is in, okay? Uh, the last two, we know we created it. The first one, we don't know. We need to go have a look. So how do we tell, how do we find out uh, what library the objects in the save file were saved from? As it says, we use the DSP SAVF command, and we want to look in RPG PGMB or your B library, and we want to look in my save file, and we press enter. Okay. At the top there is this library saved. So we know all of these objects were saved out of the library RPG PGM3. So now we can go ahead here, we can do the restore object and we can prompt it. We can say RPG PGM3. Then we say name of the save file, my safa, name of the library that that's in, that's in my B library. And then we can press enter. Okay. What's happening here is it's actually going ahead and it's the restore the yeah the rest object command. What that does is is that goes ahead and it submits the restore to batch. So we need to wait here until we receive the message, say that it completed. We're going to can use the display save file to see there. You can see here. Your request is being put on a processing queue. Wait two to three minutes. So we're just going to have to wait a couple of minutes.
So it's almost painful, isn't it, waiting for this to happen? What's your saying about a watch pot never boils? I know it says we'll get a reply back in two to three minutes. But when you're recording something, it's, this seems an awful lot longer than two to three minutes. We've been slow today. Let's do the display message again and see if whoops. And see if we have anything. No. Okay, it finally popped up. Your save file, my save file, has been saved into a temporary library. Okay, fantastic. Uh, as it said, what we want to do is use command work library to get in there. We're going to use something slightly different. Okay, we're going to use work library PDM. I'm going to F for it. We're going to look for everything that starts TMP. This should display to us just our uh, the libraries, the temporary libraries it created for us. We're going to put a 12, which drills down from the library to the object level. Here we go. Hey, presto, we have everything. So having done that, the next step we want to do is we're going to move all these objects into my B library. As I imagine you would do the same thing. So how do we do that? Well, the best way of doing it is there's a PDM option 11 which is to move. So we put 11 on the first one, and then we press F13, which is Shift F1. That replicates the 11s all the way down to the bottom. Now we just press Enter, and we type in RPG, PGMB. Let's enter again. And wow, the objects have all gone. So let's F12 out of here. We're going to delete the test library just to keep things nice, clean, and tidy. We don't need it anymore because it's empty. And then we're going to go ahead and do work object PDM, work object PDM. We're going to prompt that and we're going to say the library is RPG PGM B. And we want all objects, all object types and all attributes. So if we do this, hey presto, it worked. As you see, it's fairly straightforward and a little bit fiddly in a couple of places, certainly having to know what the, um, the rest object command is. But apart from that, as you see, it's very straightforward. Thank you.